All right, after months of waiting, uh, the Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K that I ordered back last year in 2020 has arrived and we are gonna unbox it today. Uh, let's do this. Trusty box cutter. Oh, this thing is large and heavy and it feels, this box feels pretty solid. It appears that it was very well packed. One problem I had when it was arriving uh, I bought I bought the Sonic and then the Curian Station and it came with a jug of 4K resin and it, this Sonic uh, this this whole three packages this is just one box there's two other boxes got held up in customs because they um, they said that the, they needed to know what the resin was for and if it was like a commercial use or if it's poisonous and they had to uh, have had to fill out extra email them and fill out extra paperwork but let's get this going um, just a little side story. Packaging stuff here. Oh man, this thing, like everybody says in every unboxing video for this, this thing is huge. Look, it fills up almost the whole box. I'm gonna put this on the floor. Uh, to use my incredible strength to get it out. Um, if I like incredible, I mean lackluster at best. Oh, more foam pads. Uh, these are cool, because uh, not only they, they, they pack it very well, but these are nice thick pads. You could, if you're a DIYer, you could definitely use this for a project or for, you know, chopping in half a karate, whatever you want to do. Yeah, very well packed. This thing is dope. Um, and again, this thing is huge. Oh my God, oh, I'm the strongest man alive. Or am I? Um, all right, so here she is. Again, there's a packing box. Uh, very well packed, very sturdy. A lot of packing stuff. Wrapping this beautiful, free, um, you know, packaging uh, wrap you could use later, you know to, I don't know, put, wrap, wrap your couch if you wanted to, suffocate a nosy, you know, neighborhood child. No, don't, please dispose of these properly, tear them up, pop holes in them, all that kind of good stuff. So a baby or somebody, you know, depressed, grown up, doesn't off themselves with it. Ooh, look at this, I haven't seen this before. This is like a, kind of like a, like a shrink wrappy kind of, mmm, it smells very plasticky. But on the other unboxing videos for that, that I've seen for this, um, I haven't seen this layer. Um, let's break this cocoon. Oof. Open. Oh gosh. Oh yes. Brand new printer smell. Very good. It smells like Christmas and birthday cake. If it fell into a vat of chemicals. Oh yeah. Let's do this. This stuff is very clingy. Um, I'm seeing at this point, this is probably a clean wrap. I could have uh, started at a central point and wrap, but um, you know, being the macho, incredibly ripped individual that I obviously am, I decided to tear at it, but you can just unwrap it. So if you're, um, if you're open your own, just unwrap it. And then if you do, if you have this nice, you know, piece of heavy duty cellophane you can use for wrapping food, pizza, making a, you know, a poncho in the rain, whatever you want. So it's, it's a free added on thing that Frozen sends you, which I, I really enjoy. Um, I don't know how much how exciting watching plastic being taken off is, but it's very exciting to me. I've been waiting since October for this bad boy. Or girl. I don't even know its gender. I haven't turned it up for down to check. That'll be, that'll be a fun time as well. Whoa! Look out! Um, the lid is loose. Um, it's not loose as it doesn't fit. I mean it's like it's been released, like you know, much like the Kraken of you know Clash of the Titans. Oh man, look at that. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's the lid. Nice smoky, kind of yellowish, but kind of a smoky brown color. The lid out of the way for a second. Dude, more of this. Look, you know, you play miniatures, you can make some nice terrain out of that. Make a boxing glove, whatever you want. Just free extra stuff, frozen throws in. For you, the box of the goodies that comes with the printer, I'm sure. There's this thing. All right. And then we'll take out the plastic. I'm not really going to turn the print upside down and look and see what gender it is because I think that's a little bit rude to do in a video. This is an unboxing video and a gender reveal video. But uh, that's it. This is the Sonic Mighty 4K. It is gigantic. Um, and this is what comes in the box. Oh my, ooh, this is very, I'm at an angle. I can't even get it off. Oh, bulk strength. Look at that bad boy. This is the build plate that I will, ooh, look at the little handles on the side. Um, it's the build plate that I will be sanding. Uh, shortly, right, nice sturdy build plate, screws on there. Yes, it does ship with a plastic vat. Um, 
not to be spoiled or anything, but they had an option over the holidays, with, well, I mean, pre-holidays, when I bought this thing, I pre-ordered it to get an aluminum vat. I ordered the aluminum vat, it's one of the boxes inside, but this is what the vat looks like. Nice tight FEP, giant, giant screen, giant vat, giant this. This is lovely. Put this back on, I'm scratching the bottom like a dingle. But yeah, this is this thing's dope. This is a big sturdy machine. Um, uh, this is a, I don't, I just, I can't wait to print all kinds of crazy stuff real quick to complete the unboxing. Open this up. Beautiful instruction manual. Ooh, even not monochrome. It's even got some red for the, you know, the important parts are in bright red. The 80 grit sanding disc. Uh, little Allen keys and screws. A sand disc. Eight gig. Um, USB card, which is nicer than just a generic junky one. Power brick, the uh, plug for the power brick, obviously. A scraper, which some people have complained that the scraper doesn't have a, um, doesn't have a beveled edge on it. You know what I say? I don't care because I've owned so many 3D printers at this point. I already have extra scrapers with the beveled edge, so I'd recommend upgrading to that if you can. Uh, the yellow scraper, which is super cool. This is for helping get things out of the vat, but you don't want to touch it too much. Put that in with the two other yellow scrapers I have. A couple of gloves and a very, no, it's, this is a, a funnel for doing, your, for doing your resin, which actually is a small funnel, but I, I might find good uses for it because it's a bigger aftermarket one. But um, yeah, free pair of nitro gloves, I'm assuming. This box, all the goodies. Yeah, that's it. So that is, in a nutshell, if you will, the frozen Mighty 4K. I'm looking very, very, very excited, um, very forward to building this and playing with it. I'll notice, I don't think it comes th with the plastic rubber or the rubber thing that the, um, that the, uh, my LEGO Mars, Mars Pro and, or Mars 2 and Mars Pro 2 that I had doesn't have that, so it fits a little bit looser, but I honestly, who cares? I, that rubber thing always used to get stuck on my thing, and this doesn't have the same filtering system, so it doesn't have to be airtight because you're going to have a little bit of, um, you're gonna have a little bit of a um, resin smell coming out of this thing anyway, so it's, if you think it's gonna seep out of there, you're crazy. But yeah, came in good shape, nice and shiny. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, that's, that's the unboxing, and then I'll make a second part of this video where I'll plug it in. So let me, let me pause for a second, and then I'll come back, and we'll have a second video where I'll turn this thing on and see how it works. Right, we are back. Get me a little plastic baggie out. This is the USB that came with this thing. Ooh. The USB is on the side right here, which is not too bad. Some people complain that it's not in the front, but I don't mind it on the side's fine. I, I gotta keep this thing in, 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 in the cupboard. Um, then we'll just power this up and see how it works. <laughs> Let's see the frozen screen powering up, frozen 3D. Uh, 3D print, that's your printing menu, that's your tools, it's got manual, LCD test, VAT cleaning, Z calibration. I like that the VAT cleaning is a big one. We'll go over a video of that. I, I didn't make a, I didn't make one with my previous printer, but I'll definitely make a VAT cleaning video with um, this one. I'm sure I'll get some failed prints because, not because of the quality of the, of the Frozen, just because, you know, it's a new printer, I'll have to get it dialed in. LCD test, just shines the LCD light. It says start exposure. And then you can see, ooh, the fan's going, it's very elegant. Oh yeah, you can see, I'm not gonna stare into it because I'm, I'm not a maniac, but um, yeah, it's, I'm a genius. Now, there's the LEDs, um, it looks like a nice even screen. Oh, I peeked into it and I didn't die. No, it has, it has in a, some other videos I mentioned, has nice dampeners on the, on the uh, lights as well, so they, they come across very cool and even. Big fan, uh, great thing, yeah, that was, not the brightest thing you want to make sure your build plate is screwed down if you're going to be tilting your um, your Sonic. Uh, next up, I'm not going to do the level. I, I, these things usually come pre-leveled, but I'm not even going to mess with that because before I um, before I start uh, leveling the bread and printing uh, bed and printing this, I ordered some of these super shields. Um, these are for the iPad. I think it's for the iPad, iPad Air 2, iPad Pro. Uh, 8 points or 9.7 inch, 9.7 and iPad 9.7 inch. Anyway, long story short, this does come with, as people have said uh, before, and you, if, you, if you read it online, if you're Jones and you get this printer like I was, this has a nice, this is a nice thing it has. It has a glass protector, 
down over the actual screen from what I've read online and from like seeing it. Yeah, I can, it appears to have that. But what it doesn't have, I'm going to put this screen protector on. This is, a, this is a matte iPad protector that's going to go right over the top. This thing was three for seven bucks here in the United States. I got it on Amazon, came like in you know, two days. But um, I'm a, there's a video made by True Elite Geek on his YouTube channel. He does a really good like little seven and a half minute video on how to install this. It's super, super simple. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to let the, the thing stick and adhere for 24 hours. And in that time, I'm going to sand my build plate and then I'm going to come back and level it and then I'm going to do my first print. So I'm very excited to open this thing, but at the same time, I'm not going to get to do my first print till tomorrow evening which kind of kills me, but um, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's a brand new printer. And like you said, it's a really, really pretty printer. Really nice. I don't want to, you know, I don't, I want to get off the right foot and have it as, as, as safe and secure just because um, in his video, in the comments, he uses the matte, the matte one instead of the glossy one because matte um, seems to not stick to the vat in the bottom of the, uh, the fap in the bottom of the vat as much. Um, and also he recommends, you know, the bendable clear matte ones that are plastic because glass, there's already a glass protector on there and that front tape that front tape underneath there is not completely flush. It's like there's a little bit of a lip on it. If you put a glass one on, the vat's gonna come down and crack that glass and you have like broken glass protector and it'll be a big mess. This thing will bend and it's, and you'll say, why not use FEP or something else? This thing, this stuff is a lot sturdier. It's like that, you know, that super scratch proof um, protector stuff. So anyway, uh, it will have another video. I'm not gonna make a how-to video on how to install this stuff because there's already a video that uh, Truly made. It's super good. I highly, I'll put a link in the comments. I highly re recommend checking out the video. It's seven minutes. And he has videos for other popular 3D printers as well to install this thing. Um, and yeah, I'm not link for this on Amazon. But yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. This is how big it is. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm really happy that I got it. Um, it was worth the wait. And it's just gorgeous machine. Um, super stoked.